Welcome to the Universal Simulator. In this video, I will show you how to get started. First, we install the software and then we we'll use it to run a simulation. To use the Universal Simulator, you need three programs installed on your computer. Unisim itself, the R program and a text editor. To get Unisim, go to its download page and choose an uninstaller according to your computer, Windows or Mac. For Linux version, send a request to the contact. Once the installer has been downloaded, open it to install Unisim. When the installation has finished, its flying squirrel icon can be found on the desktop. On a Mac, the procedure is the same. If the installer does not appear on the screen when you open it, then click its icon in the dock. Next, download R, if you haven't got it already on your computer. Go to the R homepage and pick an installer suitable for your computer. Download the installer, then open it to install R. If you are an experienced R user, you may have R Studio on your computer already. That's okay. Unisim works both with the basic R program and with R Studio. At last, we need a text editor. On Windows, download and install Notepad++ from its homepage. On a Mac or Linux computer, go to the Atom homepage. Click the button to download and install Atom. We have now finished software installation. Except for the choice of text editor, the procedure is the same on all platforms. To get ready to run a simulation, first launch Unisim and R. Before we proceed, we need to install some R packages. Go to your Unisim input folder and open this R script. Here I opened it in Notepad++. Now mark it all and copy it to the R prompt. Check for these kind of warnings. They are caused by your antivirus uh, program not liking the way R install packages. The solution is to try again and again. This time we were successful with all packages. You might be less lucky and need to try a few more times. The packages are now installed on your computer. You won't need to install them again. In Unisim, use the load command to load one of the scripts from the Unisim book. Alternatively, type load followed by control space to bring up a file browser and select a script. Type list to get an overview of the model that you have loaded. Type edit to take a closer look at the script itself. The very first time you use the edit command, the computer will pause and after a while ask you which program to use as a text editor. On a Windows computer, choose Notepad++. On a Mac or Linux computer, choose Atom. From now on, the edit command will automatically show the script in the text editor that you just chose. Now run the model. Unisim will write output to a couple of files and put a few lines of R code in the clipboard. Switch to R and paste the clipboard. This will write the R code that Unisim just put into the clipboard at the R prompt. As a result, you will see the simulation output in R. Now, load some other scripts and try to list, edit and run them. Thanks for watching.